Hi, I'm Michelle Lawrence. Welcome back to Inside Art. We're back with a new program dedicated to looking at art from the artist's perspective. There'll be some fresh faces and some rather well-worn ones as well. No one else is covering the art world quite like Inside Art. This year we're going to be visiting artists in their studios, watching artists making art in all its forms, and of course we'll also be talking to the gallerists, the directors of the biggest public galleries in the country, and the administrators and the academics as well. We love talking uh, to artists, so we hope you enjoy watching the results. Tonight, we'll be spending time with Dabs Myler, one name divided by two very creative people. Dabs and Myler are both artists and they love to work and play together. They're inseparable. When one puts down the pencil, the other picks it up and begins where the other left off. They've got energy to burn and they're making a mark internationally from their new base in the Hollywood Hills. Every week we also look at artists making a mark. This week we have the specialist photography blogger Dr Marcus Bunyam investigating the NGV's confounding exhibition. It's not a large exhibition but it's full of work that is both beautiful and at the same time perplexing and confusing. Sorry, I mean confounding. Marcus writes his own blog, Art Blart. It's an amazing read, check it out for yourself, Art Blart. We also talk with Catherine Asquith, fresh back from Art Stage Singapore, one of Asia's major art fairs. She's learned some lessons and she's very frank and forthright about what she took out of the fair. It's an intriguing insight into the art world. Dabs Myler have a background in street art, even setting up their own street art gallery per square metre in Collingwood. Now living in LA, they're a busy, busy schedule, but they found time to come back to Melbourne, their hometown, for an exhibition at Metro Galleries. Since we, since we kind of arrived, we just came straight in here and, and we knew we only had a short amount of time, so we just started working straight away. And we've just been in here from early in the morning till very late at night every day. So uh, just, you know, we knew that we only had that time, so we've just been hustling. Yeah. Yeah. And some students from, um the NMIT illustration degree, they came in to help us as well. So it was Which really was good. good, it was I very helpful. We, we couldn't was, have done it otherwise. It, was, it would have been impossible. You know, when we first started yeah. going out, we would work on separate um, pieces. Yeah. And then after just a couple of years, we would work as well on collaborative pieces as well. And then we, I don't know, after like a couple of years, we were like, gosh, I, we really enjoy making the the pieces together much more than the the pieces that we were doing by ourselves. Yeah. So we just. Um, I think we just we found it more enjoyable. We were, I think yeah. we were on a plane somewhere, just having a meeting, just because we were bored. We were just talking about things that, you know, just things that we were doing, and we just kind of came. We were just sitting there on the tarmac. The plane was delayed. We were sitting there for a, shit. Like I think we were sitting there for like three hours. Yeah. Just waiting to take off, there was problems, whatever. And we were just talking about it and we just said, I think... We should do this, I we think should maybe work together. I enjoy doing it, I really enjoy the collaborative pieces more. Mm. And we were both like, well, maybe we'll just do that now, forever, all the time. There's like huge positives think, in it for us because mm. um, I think as an artist, you're always very critical, much more critical of your own work than, than anyone else could ever possibly be. And um, just having someone there that you're working with to, to talk to as you go through, you know, the stages of making a painting or painting a wall. It's just nice having yeah. someone that you can trust yep. to get a second opinion. We, we have a, you know, pretty strict rule with each other that we'll, we have to be kind of pretty honest. Mm. I'm, even if it's going to hurt one of our feelings, if someone's done some work and it's not so good, even if they've spent all day on it, if you don't think it's good, you, sh you just have to speak up yeah. and say, I don't think that's going to work. Your work's got a very 50s Hollywood animation look to it, perhaps a bit of anime as well. Is, is that where you draw your inspiration from? Well, not anime so much. Not that I'm against anime or, or Japanese animation like that. It's just something that I've never really... I don't know anything about it at all. But, you know, people say that a lot, so it must look like it a bit. But I think it's just... It's just it, it comes from old animation really influenced by stuff like that from the you know from the 20s to say the 50s that period there the the hollywood you know kind of times mgm and disney and you know uh, looney tunes all those kind of cartoons i grew up watching heaps of them i really love them my uncle was really into them he uh 
I used to go to his house and read books. He has a library of books on old comic art and, uh, and watch cartoons and stuff. And I guess it also comes from graffiti. We, you know, I, I grew up doing graffiti. <coughs> And so it's like a hybrid of, mm. of those two things and it just makes what it is thrown in with that, that's all my inspiration and then there's all her whole life's yeah. inspirations and we kind of squish them together and make <laughs> whatever it is. We collaborate on everything that we do, uh, everything, like the, paint, yeah. the paintings of course, all the drawings we collaborate on, if we make a design. Every mural, every design, everything. Every everything. Why Hollywood? We just went there on vacation a couple of times and we just mm. love it there so much that we just were like, you know what, I think we'd love, love to live here. We just moved there and then we just found that we, we fit did. in there. Yeah. And then we just, the more that we lived there, the more that we, you know, wanted to continue living there. I think for us that what, what we've, well, what I can see that it's inspired our work is the, the colours that we're using now in particular mm. are much more brighter and saturated than We love it before. there too. Yeah. I think maybe our, our paintings the energy and like the, the positivity in our paintings, you can see it in them just because yeah. we love it there. You know, we're happy there. Was it difficult to find a gallery in LA? Mm, not so much. No. We just, we just, when we moved there, very early on, we, we met with a lot of different galleries and we, and we met with one gallery uh, called Think Space, which is in Culver City. And we just, we got along really well with them. We started showing with them and, and we still do now. We're, they're like, they're beyond, they're like our family there. Yeah. We spend Christmas with them. We're, I don't know. It just happened really easily. It was a good match. Mm, they're, they're amazing people and mm. we trust them so much and, and and I think that the feeling is 100%. Hopefully. You have to have a go in a place like LA. Yeah. Yeah. Are you showing outside of Los Angeles? Yeah, we show, we show in other cities yeah, as well. We travel all over the America having exhibitions, being parts of, you know, different things, events. Mm. And what other American cities have been good for you? We've been to Miami um, for the last four years for yeah. Art Basel. To, I mean, you know, with your gallery? Um, sometimes we've shown there yeah. with ThinkSpace at yeah. some of the art fair at, an art, at, at art fairs and and, and, and other kind of things. There was a it, it, nearly each year, we've, except for the last couple, we've shown something there. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also go there and we just paint mural. Like we'll paint we'll paint a mural. Uh, this year we'll be going for Scope, the art fair Scope with ThinkSpace, which yeah. will be fun. You're leaving here to go to Hawaii, is that for work? That's for an event called Pow Wow, so that's where about 30 artists have flown to Hawaii to paint. I think it, it sounds like it's just going to be a lot of fun, mm -hmm. yeah. You come back again to see some family? Well, they yeah. haven't seen any of us, no one, except for people who are willing to come in and... I think maybe that's why all our friends have been coming in to yeah. help us, maybe, uh, just because we probably won't see them otherwise. So, which has been great, it's uh, having them here. Apart from the help that it's been to, to get it all done, which we needed, it's also nice just to hang out yeah. with people that we don't get to see so often. It's probably the best part of it. Definitely. Kind of keeps us sane. Yeah. yeah.